what's going on everybody thank you for being here with me today so obviously you're here watching this video most likely because your disk usage in your uh, computer is constantly at 100% or near 100% which makes your computer unresponsive um, that actually happened to me for such a long time and it was so hard to figure out what to do and how to fix it because whenever I try to fix it it becomes unresponsive so there's a few things that you could do um, to uh, fix it um, there's different solutions I actually did a few of them and I'm not sure exactly which one of them fit or worked out for me so I'm just gonna go step by step um, with the with um, the, the, the process that I did for my computer my laptop so the first thing I did actually um, was I installed Adobe Flash because I, I did some research and a lot of people said that Adobe Flash might be the reason so I uninstalled Adobe Flash um, but after that it still didn't work I still had 100% usage and I'm um, not sure exactly why so I'm thinking that Adobe Flash might not be the reason for me so I might install it again and then see if um, my disk usage goes back up the second thing is um, disabling uh, two things so on your keyboard just press the the Windows key and R so you can bring up the run um, Windows um, and then you want to search for uh, services.msc and just wait for services right here to come up um, once you have this windows up uh, go down and look for windows search so windows search scroll down a little let me see where it is okay so windows search is right here once you find it uh, double click it or if you don't want if you want to double click it just click the right the right um, button on your uh, mouse and then go to properties and then stop the service if it's running for you stop it and then change the startup type to disabled so that for the reason so whenever your computer restarts it doesn't um, uh, start uh, doesn't turn on again and, and you know starts running so put it disabled so whenever you start your computer it's always off um, and then click OK and then the next one is a uh, super fetch so look for super fetch and then double click it and then also do the same thing stop the service and then change the startup type to disabled and then click OK after you do that just restart your system um, even though you stop the services uh, just restart your system so everything takes effect and you make sure that everything takes effect and then uh, if that doesn't work still then um, there is uh, one other thing well I have two other things but one of them is if you um, go to your settings and then go to uh, system and then go to notifications and actions and scroll down and turn off get tips tricks and suggestions as you use Windows um, you don't need that if you're if you know how to use a computer and everything I, I doubt you need it anyways but uh, um, I would, when I did the research it said that it could be an, um, a reason why your disk usage is so high um, so if it is just turn it off and the last thing and this is actually the last thing I did and after that my my disk usage was actually very um, low the whole time um, there is a, a firmware bug in uh, Microsoft called uh, store HCI dot systems and um, this is to get to it um, to get to it open up device manager so just search it up in your start device manager and then um, if you want to see that you have it or not this this bug go to IDE um, ATA ATPI controls and then after that you got a double click standard uh, SATA satellite AHCI controller so once you double click that go to the driver tab click driver details and then right here under driver files at the very end you see I have that store uh, AHCI dot system so because I have this that's probably the reason um, for the for the um, disk users being constantly at 100% um, so what you want to do next is uh, go to details and then in the property click device instance path 
and you're going to use this value here. This is what you're going to be looking for when we go ahead and change um, change something. So click Windows and R key and then type rigidit rigid and click OK. So when you open up the registry editor, I'm not sure if you can look it up actually. Registry editor, I guess not. I guess you can't look it up. So click your Windows key and R and then type uh, rigid it. And after this comes up, go to your local machine. After that, you're gonna click systems. After systems, go down to current control set. Okay, keep up with me guys, we're almost there. So after control, current control set, you want to go to NM. And after NM, you're going to go to PCI. And after PCI, this is where this tab, this, uh, this right here, you know how we looked and saw the value. Okay, so make sure that you find the one that matches what you see in your window. Okay, don't follow mine, but see the one that matches yours. Um, mine it's 9d03 um you know don't don't worry about the first few i think they're all the same here so mine is a uh, 9d03 which is right here and after you find it open that up and then open the tab the one underneath underneath it and then go to uh, device parameters and then go to interrupt management and then click a message signaled um Meshes, meh, meshes, mesh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Message signaled interrupted properties. After you click that, then um, there's nothing else after that. Just go to this right here called um, MSI supported. Double click it. And then your value data will probably be a 1. What you want to change it to, to is to 0. After you do that, click OK. And then close all your windows and then restart your computer when you restart your computer um the disk user if that was the issue then then i'm i'm 100 percent sure that your uh, disk users will definitely be fixed and uh if it doesn't there is uh definitely a lot of different things that you can do um to uh you know reduce your disk users so if you still have that issue comment below or email me um, the, my email is on my channel and I'll uh, be happy to assist you guys um, hopefully that helped um, and if it did like and subscribe and thank you guys once again